Hello guys. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to uh, share um, one experiment with you, which you can do at home. Um, basically, uh, this experiments uh, are designed for internal assessment for the IB curriculum. So in this uh, particular playlist, uh, I'm going to create uh, many such uh, videos where you will uh, see experiments that can be designed at home uh, for the internal assessment. I will give you the idea and um, how to measure the variables and what are the variables that can be measured and how, so that you can you know, further uh, extend um, uh, this idea or this experiment and uh, uh, do your internal assessment effectively. So that is the overall idea for this particular playlist. Um, I'm, I have created one uh, uh, GIF for you. I will share in, I mean, from that you will get the idea what are the materials required and what we are going to actually see, uh, do uh, the design, the theory and all you will need to explore in other videos or any other web resources. Well, let us start with uh, the AD current, okay, the experiment that we are going to discuss is a D current. This is a very common and uh, simple experiment. You people uh, must be knowing this, right? So what is um, a D current that we know, like when the surface electrons, okay, uh, because of change of magnetic flux, the surface electron will uh, produce a current, which is a D current. And this a D current is an induced current, which will oppose its cause, right? So uh, as you know, as you can see this in this uh, particular setup, okay, when I will take a neodymium magnet, normally what we do, we take a copper or aluminum uh, pipe, which is a diamagnetic substance, and then we drop the neodymium magnet through that pipe, okay, make sure that the neodymium magnet uh, is uh, like small enough and it should not touch um, the boundary of the aluminum or the copper wire or else its movement will be disturbed and uh, there will be friction or collision. So the energy will be lost. So you need to take care of that. So, um, okay. And the second thing, normally what we do when we drop it, we just measure the time. Then we consider like, you know, um, this height of the pipe to be constant. So we consider the distance or the height to be constant. And then what is the time taken for that neodymium magnet? To, move, uh, to cross that particular height or the distance, right? So the time is recorded and the average acceleration um, is uh, found, okay, uh, from that. So normally in this particular experiment, we used to note the time only, okay? So when a diamag, uh, sorry, when a new diamond magnet uh, falls and covers a particular distance uh, when there is no pipe or uh, aluminum pipe or copper pipe, then what is the time taken? And then when you put it uh, through the aluminum pipe or uh, copper pipe, what is the time taken? Basically, you consider those time differences and you say, okay, uh, that the you know acceleration due to gravity, that small g value is now getting affected. Okay, so there will be upward force because of the you know induced current or the eddy current. So it will take longer time for the neodymium magnet to, you know, fall through that uh, distance, right? Okay, now the problem here is you simply keep the time taken, right? But you don't know what is the exact movement of the neodymium magnet through the aluminum or the copper wire. So just to, you know, uh, improve that uh, analysis, what we can do is we can see this particular arrangement where you can see I have taken a pulley and a string is passed through the pulley and then that string is attached to a neodymium magnet. And then you take your, as usual, aluminum or copper pipe, right? So here, what you can see is you need to like, you no know, videograph the whole thing, whole setup, right? This pulley, the position of the pulley is fixed. Then you can see I put a red mark. So that can be a paper uh, piece and then you just stick it a light paper piece so it will not affect the mass of the neodymium magnet attached to the string and then you put it okay so that red mark uh, actually will be used for the tracker right so tracker is a software where you can 
you can track the motion of uh, any object. So here, if I'll videograph the whole thing and will put it in the tracker, then you know the movement of the neodymium magnet here, which is attached to the string, and the movement of the red mark that is put in, put on the string will be exactly equal, right? So the way the neodymium magnet moves, the red mark uh, that is put on the string will also move the same way. But the thing is here, when the neodymium magnet uh, moves through the aluminum or copper pipe, you will not be able to see the position and hence the tracker cannot actually track, right? The neodymium magnet. But if you will put a red mark, something like, you know, uh, as a paper, you know, colored paper uh, uh, stick to the um, string, then you can you can easily actually track this, right? So that way you can uh, plot the displacement time, the velocity time, and acceleration time uh, graph for this whole uh, system, right? For the string or the new diamond magnet, how it moves inside the copper. So that gives a better uh, picture of the uh, acceleration or velocity or the variation in position. Okay, so this is the overall idea. Um, which can be used um, at home using simple, uh, you know, um, setup. Thank you.